Welcome everyone to the 11th Chinese Knowledge Seekers Workshop brought to you by the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute and today we'll have um, Marco will be uh, our feature guest in today's workshop and he'll be directing it and we'll be hearing from the Chinese Knowledge Seekers. First we'll have the promo video for the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute with uh, Chinese subtitles. Go ahead, Vince. Where does humanity go from here? What have we tried to do? What if there is more, much more? The Cash Foundation is proud to announce a new way to bring humanity forward through technology that brings humanity in line with the natural operation of the planet and universe itself. The new science and technology discovered and developed by the nuclear engineer Moran Kesh centers upon the use and control of magnetical gravitational fields. This new body of knowledge opens the road to hundreds of potential applications, which offer solutions to most of the fundamental problems of the world such as water, food, environmental contamination, and shortages of energy. The Kesh Foundation is proud to unveil the Kesh Foundation Spaceship Institute. Nestled amidst the beautiful shores of Bari, Italy, the Institute is poised to become a central hub in the spreading of plasma technology and knowledge. With its state-of-the-art 21st century facilities, the Institute will be able to provide students and staff an immersive way to learn the plasma technology, to be the leaders of the new generation of scientists and plasma engineers. The Cash Foundation has opened the door to the world for peaceful usage of technology that is independent of the limited resources that are available on Earth. This is an understanding of how everything works together in harmony in our universe, and it applies to everything from the smallest to the biggest, from atoms to galaxies. We all are able to collectively work together in pursuit of knowledge, innovation, and solutions for our society. This learning environment is new to the world, where there will be no test to confirm your understanding. The knowledge of everyone will be respected and allowed to flourish in a nurturing environment. Hands-on testing and experimenting will be widely used in conjunction with roundtable discussions to bring all opinions and knowledge forward. Students will be introduced to a change in the ethos of working in collaboration. Students will experience firsthand how we share knowledge in a free and open manner. Graduating students are expected to share the knowledge they gain from the university within their respective communities and nations. All formal teachings, lectures and presentations will be in the English language, with technology available for immediate translation. Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute will be offering three-year executive master programs for undergraduate degree students and one-year executive master programs for graduate degree students in the following fields. Space transportation, new plasma technology, health, agriculture, materials, energy. The health section is designed to make students able to live in space without the need to return to Earth. To this end, the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute has found processes for many diseases including ALS, cancer, coma, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis. Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute will offer online teaching courses which will enable anyone, anywhere around the world to enroll and increase their knowledge and understanding. Students will have the opportunity to direct their work towards commercial spin-offs and seek funding through the help of the Cash Foundation. The access to the new science and new technologies is openly available for peaceful use to the benefit of mankind to make a better world today. Now you can be part of the changing world and the new knowledge. All commercial spin-offs are intended to be open source and patent free. This is part of the core ethos of the Cash Foundation and the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute. Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute will have its official inauguration on April 21st, 2015, with courses commencing soon after on May 4th, 2015. 
The students of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute will be the leaders of the future who will make changes in all areas of space technology, science, medicine, agriculture, and energy. Anyone is able to apply, but acceptance is through invitation only. No prerequisites are required. We will be accepting approximately 250 students for the three-year Executive Master's Program and 120 students for the one-year Executive Master's Program. We welcome humanity's participation in the knowledge of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. Where does humanity go from here? That is up to you. Apply today. Oh, hello. Okay, that was the uh, that was the promo video. I'm just getting my screen set up here so we have a screen to look at. Get the questions set up. Are you there, Marco? Yeah, I'm here. Good day or good evening to our Chinese friends uh, in this workshop today. Uh, Mr. Cash is not with us because he's away. Uh, in some other presentation on a uh, university nearby, and uh, maybe he will be able from time to time to join us in, in this session. So I will try to answer you in my way, in my understanding, uh, what I can, uh, from my point of view, what I can help to Chinese knowledge seekers. So maybe for the beginning, um, I can just tell that uh, the, this cancer trial is also beginning in next uh, month or next weeks. So people who are interested to, to participate in the cancer trial case, um, with use of new technology, they can apply um, and send email to cancer at spaceshipinstitute.org. So also Chinese uh, people are welcome to this to this project. Uh, if there are doctors who would like to to monitor these uh, cancer patients. They can they can also send email to doctors at spaceshipinstitute.org. So uh, maybe I can try to write on the on the board. Uh, I I need to translate. Okay, yes, I go. Uh, uh Marco, Dr.Arg.然后如果有医生的话,想参加这个就是我们这个节目的话呢,可以给寄信到Dr.Arg.Space Okay, go ahead, Marco. Second thing that uh, I would like to say is also that our uh, master uh, student study program is uh, was started and uh, on 4th of May, and uh, it's one year program. Uh, but uh, this uh, program is available also online. 
So uh, people who are not here in Italy, they can join us online in this teaching session. And uh, even if they join us later, uh, they have uh, access to all the teachings. All the recordings are available on the server. And uh, they can listen to them whenever they want later. And, uh, so whoever is joining to us uh, can uh, listen later and have uh, ability to catch up with all these teachings. Uh, so every, everybody can uh, choose his speed uh, of progress. In uh, we translate. Uh, yeah. uh, the other thing is that the other thing is uh so So also Chinese students are welcome in this uh, in this teaching program. Okay, um, now I think also uh, you prepared some questions, uh, or maybe you can uh, just open your, your your experiment that you are doing uh, in China. And let's go to the question. Uh, Can I speak? Uh, sure. <laughs> Use the cash. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, yes, I just have a few minutes to add. Thank you very much for um, carrying on with the workshop. It's an important uh, announcement for Chinese and other um, scientists and the people who work around the work of the Cash Foundation. The um, Armand is in China with Sohail and um, they are setting up the laboratory of the Cash Foundation in China. And we need scientists or people who have been developing different aspects of the Foundation's work who would like to get it commercialized and work on a full-time basis for the Foundation in China. Uh, so, if you are a Chinese uh, knowledge seekers or a Chinese who has been following different works of the Foundation to do with CO2, energy and uh, others, please contact Sohail at um, the address which will be given is where you can buy the products and contact them that you can join and then they will most probably interview you and it's the first um, cycle of scientists which now and the researchers we accept for development and commercialization of different aspects of the technology. So if you're a knowledge seeker and you have a good understanding of the technology and you can see to convert it into different applications, please contact the, uh, what do you call it, the Cash Foundation in China. There is a job opportunity for a number of people who they decide as they interview. This be it for the use of the GANs, be it for the use of the uh, different materials and production of the star formation systems. If you want to translate. Yeah. Uh, Shambuiga 
，呃，所以说，呃，如果任何一直在就是说跟踪我们的工作的人，还有，呃，呃，呃，中国的知识寻求者，还有或者，呃，你你就是说是各方面的科学家或者呃，都可以呢，啊、呃，申请我们这个，就是我们现在有工作位置可以申请，就是全日为，呃，就是呃一个 full time job。给这个开始基金会啊，所以呢，如果你要是呃一直，比如说在在能量能源方面呢，二氧化碳干细胞啊，还有其他的，就是说各方面的应用，嗯、呃，如果呃想参加进来的话，呃，可以跟索海尔联系。OK。Thank you very much. I'm going to mute and drop off. Carry on with your presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Cash. Uh, 开始先说说啊，那么你们现在可以继续进行你们教学了。那我现在我把我的这个说话关掉，然后我说谢谢开始先生。Uh, so now is that okay. the question, Marco? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, I don't know, are you going to read them in Chinese first, or uh, who will read the question? Uh, okay, so we can have um, uh, Ruji, you, you read in Chinese, and then... Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? No. Okay. So, 我们首先呢是进入到本次教学的第一个问题，是由这个郭鑫二二三五这位朋友提出的，是关于火力升平的。那么他其中的一个第一个小问题是，嗯、呃，这个图片里面是一个朋友做的这个火力升平，那么我们可以去看仔细看清楚它的结构啊、呃。那么其中磁铁和干丝之间是隔离开的，并没有接触。呃，自来水烧开的水。用自来水烧开的水倒进去以后，凉一凉几分钟就喝了。那么磁化的水呢，会有点发甜，嘴里面会长时间的感觉到有甜的这个味道。嗯、呃，感觉呢人比较有精神，然后春春困的这种感觉没了，始终都有这种甜的感觉。那么就请问啊、呃、，Marco， 呃，这样呢是否呃正确？就是这样使用火力升平的方法是否正确？为什么喝了那个水以后嘴巴会有甜的味道，然后春困的感觉也没有了 ？Okay, the question is in here. Ah,、uh, you can see in the following pictures. Um, ah,、uh, one of the Chinese knowledge thinkers had made a cup to supply energy for body. The structure of the cup is um, uh, uh, like this in the left. A uh, uh, picture has a magnet. Magnet again, they are in、uh, one small container. It's like the well in the middle picture, and then put in the big cup. The big cup is has a nano. I think it's a nano. Yeah, and uh, uh, when people use it, it is full in water, and then drink the water. The water.、Uh, The question in here is that he drink the water and、uh, it felt very a little bit sweet, and he felt more energetic and、uh, more alert than before. It's not feel like so like tired or sleepy. So his question is why he has the、uh, sweet taste and、uh, how come it's so、uh, energized and、uh, has、uh, any a problem or what? So sweet taste depends what kind of gans he has put inside. As I understood, he has put.、Uh, Different guns in the center of this、uh, this cup, and there is nano layer on the outer edges. Is that right, or is this、uh, double wall、uh, 
cup so that he has put uh, guns in the double wall. Marco, when he says that this is because of the guns in the double wall, it's related to the guns in the double wall. Is he using also the the magnet like uh, um, like uh, iron magnet or? I I don't know. I need to ask. Um, uh, okay. Do you know this this iron magnet is what magnet? Marco asked, "What magnet is this magnet?" Someone can. 可以打文字在这里边，或者打文字给。我看一下，然后看一下，看他有没有写。So why sweet? Sweet is the. I could you just the microphone a little bit, Mark? Yeah. Okay. There's a. I have a question to ask, uh, because now in China they have a, they have some people they are making those cups, and uh, like they think it's uh, according to cash technology, so I don't know. What do you think about those cups? Because they just um, they sometimes they have uh, nano materials uh, on the in the like a double layer in the uh, center. All they have sometimes they have gains and the magnet. So, what do you think about those? We can I make a comment here, please? Um, we have seen people using the logo of the Cash Foundation or a Spaceship Institute on these cups. These are illegal. And secondly, we do not support any kind of consumption of uh, water or uh, what do you call it, uh, containers of food which are built or made by guns just because we have brought the technology out. This has to be checked, has to be organized, and then approved by us and the international organizations. So, anybody who's producing these cups, what they feel and how it is, is at their own risk, and we do not endorse and support it. And we ask people, I already had a case, came to me from China, we ask you to withdraw the logo of the Cash Foundation and the Spaceship Institute from your documents and your papers and your cups. And if we see this, we'll make a complaint to server um, holders and they block your server. We will take these actions. This is very serious abuse of a registered name. Okay? We do not make a comment because somebody else can drink the same water and have a different problem. So, we know people are doing this, but we are not supporting it and we are staying out of this discussion. We have to, to be correct by law. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh,啊，就是啊，开始先说前面部分嘛。我先说前面。啊，开始先说啊，首先呢，我们就是说啊，对这个呢，就是说我们看到有人啊，可能就是卖这个杯子，把我们开始基金会或者啊，把太空学院的这个
呃，开始基金会目前是不支持或者说不提倡大家去自己去尝试去引用或者是使用，因为呢，这个必须要经过这个组织和安排，也要经过开始基金会的认可，还有经还要经过国际组织的一个认证，这样呢，这样的才能作为一个产品。而且呢，呃，开始基金会呢，对于刚才说的就是有呃国内的这个网友呢，把这个。呃，太空学院还有这个开始基金会的这标志呢，用在了产品上，呃，这是一非法的一个一个行为，啊、呃，因为，呃，那么我们已经建议这个国内的这个生产生产者呢，已经把这个，呃，所有的标志跟太空学院有关的标志和开始基金会有关的标志全部都都已经删除，啊、呃，如果说还有这样的行为呢，啊、呃，基金会是保持一个呃法采取相应行动的一个权利，嗯、呃。那么还是要郑重的，呃，告诉大家，就是这样一个涉及到，就是比较，这是一个紧比较慎重的事情，不不需呃，必须要有一个正规的一个程序来进行。OK， 李生。OK， 嗯、um, ，So we have um、uh, the second question。好的。那是。We we can ask uh, uh, Rujin to read the second question in Chinese. 好的,好的，那我先念一下，这个还是同一个郭鑫的第二个问题。这个问题呢是关于干湿电池的。啊、呃，如图呢，这是一个干湿电池，它的长度是一厘米。啊、呃，使用了纳米铜、吸水纸、二氧化碳干湿、氧化铜盒子，周围产生的纯盐干湿。然后呢，用镁和铝箔包裹它们，再用铜线将它们缠紧，得到了二点一伏的电压，嗯，和两百毫安左右的电流，没有任何的密封。那么对这个实验提出的问题是，嗯、呃，我使用了两个这样的一个呃一个单元，就是两个这样的一个装置串联起来，得到了四伏左右的电压，可以点亮一个三伏的 LED 灯。但是从亮度上，我们知道两百毫安的电流点亮 LED 灯是不可能只有那么微弱的。电流表上还显示为 HV 高压。那推测是不是电压表出现了异常，或者说电压表在周围有干湿或者纳米材料的情况下被啊它的性能或者它的功能被影响？那一周后呢？这个装置还是干燥了，这个电池干燥了，电压降低为原来的一半，电流表测试没有变。但是 LED 还是正常亮着，请问如何保持电池内部的湿润？还是说使用干湿制作一些发电小元件，其实可以不用保持湿润就可以永久发电？李莎。Yeah, and the question is, um, uh, on the bottom picture it shows, uh, uh, we we, uh, we did a battery device. And it's about uh, one uh, mill one centimeter long, and uh, at the beginning, the output voltage was uh, two two point one volt volt, and the current was uh, about uh, two hundred milliamps. Uh, uh, the sh he shows okay has a um explaining how he did load this. Uh, batteries. He used um, put a nano coated copper wire and the CO two gains and the uh, CuO gains and a little uh, a piece of paper and he wrapped up. Use. Uh, Magnesium and aluminum foil, and uh, then tightly, it, tightly. It. Let me see. Yeah, and uh, he is. Uh, the question is. Oh, uh, he he said he he used two of them can get uh, three volt and can light a LED and uh, but uh, the he, even he measured two hundred milliamps but still not 
bright enough. So it should be a much brighter, but it is lighted. Uh, then he asked you one, two, two, could you please explain the reason why it's not so bright? And also he said after a week, uh, its output uh, like become down to two volt. Uh, the current is still the same, but and also the light is still the light is still on. So the question is how to prevent it from dry dryness and uh, whether it can be it's okay. So just uh, use a dry gas. Um, Do you understand the question? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we have done similar experiments a few months ago, I think in the September, October last year, uh, and we showed this, uh, these batteries, uh, GANS batteries also in our public workshops. Um, so we used similar process, GANS and nanomaterials. Um, it's very difficult to say how exactly he, you want to uh, to keep your your uh, uh, how to prevent dryness. Uh, you have to find a way. But most important to me is that you understand what you are doing. Uh, um, how how did, did you put together all these uh, gun cells? Um, if you are using GANS material, you can use it like a source of energy. And in, in combination with nanomaterial, you can achieve plasmatic flow. But if, you're use, if you want to use it with uh, current devices, with, with devices, with electronic devices, you have to convert this plasmatic field flow to flow of of uh, of the energy in electron level so you you have to find this conversion somewhere in between your nanolayers and, and your matter you have to remember that nanolayers are uh, are like plasma environments and they're superconductors. So uh, the current in nanolayers is uh, in is in plasmatic form, not in a electron level. So, so in a way you have to slow down or Make your, your also. There, there's some noises. Nope. Uh, it's near another microphone, most probably. Uh, I can tr uh, translate.嗯，啊，马可解释说说我们以前在这个教学当中，啊，就说啊，给展示过、解释过这些个电池，啊，他说呢，你用这个啊，干丝材料和这个啊，纳米层材料，实际上是干丝的话可以释放啊，所有的你
次，所以啊，嗯、呃，就是说要考虑这种转换方式，怎么样把它给降下来。So maybe Mr. Cash can add something if he's still online. Mm. Sorry? Oh, he's, he's not. He's not. Uh, uh, Marco, I'm going to ask you if you can answer the question, so you can start the question. You have to, to see also what is happening inside your, your, your uh, gun cells. You, you have to see if there is also um, any matter interaction. If you, if you are losing your voltage, uh, try to, to see that, try to work only, let's say, try to separate working in the, the uh, Plasma level from the from the matter level, so that you all the time that you understand when you have uh, flow in uh, plasmatic magnetic field strength level and when you have uh, flow in electron level, and when to do this conversion because when you are using your your LED, LED works in uh, electron vib vibration uh, level. So you have to convert your plasmatic flow to electron, electron uh, vibration level. Otherwise, you will not have uh, any results. But uh, in a way, with guns and with nanomaterial, you have much stronger flow of fields, uh, which cannot be used uh, with the current, with the equipment that we are using in uh, electronics. So you need to do this conversion somehow. You have to find out uh, uh, how, to, how to break down these this strong fields to, to the electron level fields. If you understand You have nanowire. Nanowire are, uh, let's say, atoms separated layer by layer. And this nano layer is superconductor. So in this in this direction, uh, superconductive conductivity because you have magnetic environment inside and uh, the field strength in this in these layers is much stronger than uh, than electron vibration level and uh, so if you use another guns or connect two guns you have flow but somewhere in this in this flow you have to uh, to break it and bring it to electro, electron level uh, vibration so that you can use this, uh, this field flow with, with current devices. Okay. Mm. So go ahead. Okay. Marco 解释说，呃，你的这个电池的话，就说，呃，这个干丝电池的电压下降的话，你要考虑到里面是不是有这种，啊、呃，和物质的这个相互作用，然后引起的，啊、呃，同时呢，他说你还是要看一下这个，啊、呃，就说，呃，从磁力引力场的这个。啊、呃，在高的这个能级的这个，就是说你要对这个电，呃，就是我们电流的这个磁场的这个能级的这个转化，你还是要，就是说知道这个转化和这个流动。然后他现在画了一个图，他说这是，啊、呃，纳米图层。那么纳米球层呢？里边是，呃，就说有一些个这些层跟，就说 nano。纳米材料这个之间呢，这个粒子纳米粒子的中间呢，会有一些个层，这些层呢会有这个
，就是说场的这个流动。然后你两边呢，如果放着干丝的话，两边场会中间流动，所以你要从中间呢，你要是啊、呃、取出来的话，你要给它能够进行转化。他说：“你还是要发啊，找到这个转换的办法啊，这样呢，你才能就是说，因为你要用在这个电子层，呃，电子的这个能这个级别的这个厂，所以你必须要是要会转化。”嗯，啊、uh, uh, ，有没有在线有呃，他们在线吗？也也不没没在线，没在线，那么我们就啊、uh, 下一一个问题吗？要要不我再补充两句吧？嗯。好的，那那个刚才 Marco 解释说，实际上有个关键问题，就是说我们测到的这个电流电压啊，因为它是来自于纳米层的，纳米层的水平方向呢是超导的状态，那么里面呢，如果在这个在刚才画的那个图中两侧放上这个干丝的话，那么就会有这些啊油干之间的这些啊磁场流，在这个纳米层的超导层面发生这个流动，那么。现在关键的问题呢，就是你要想办法去把这个这些啊纳米层面中的这些呃磁场流，因为这些磁场流的强度呢是比这个我们所说的这个电子的这个强度要高的，所以呃你要想办法要把这个磁场流呢给利用起来，把它这个强度降低到这个电子层层电子强度的这么一个呃水平，这样呢才能够用这个。通过这个装置呢，发电装置呢，去产生这个啊、呃、比较理想的一个电流，才能够去带动这个 LED 的这个灯，因为 LED 用的是电子震荡的这个这个强度的，所以呢，呃，最关键的问题还是要学会怎么样把这些磁场流，这些源源不断的磁场流给转化成这个电子的强度，才能够利用起来。Lisa， 嗯 ，OK，So。Uh, next question. Okay. Are you still want to explain more? No, was um, Marco. I don't know. It's it's this clear enough, or or is there any sub questions regarding that? And. Um, um, Michael, do you have any suggestions, like uh, to think the way to do the conversion? Because uh, uh, people now seems to seems to get stuck here. They are stuck here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. There are people <laughs> who are much more experienced, have much more experience than me in this field. So. I can not give you like a cook recipe, but what you can do. If you have these nano layers here, you can try to break them. I don't know, uh, try to, in certain point, try to squeeze these nano layers. And uh, when you squeeze them, the field flow in these layers is not so easy anymore and it has more friction so um, this friction release fields that are in electron level and then you can absorb it absorb them so I would suggest to you try to use your fingers and different type of nano coatings and use different pressure on these nano layers and then test this this nano this this nano coated wires and see which 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 wire will give you most uh, mo most of the results that's that's okay. my suggestion to you okay 
啊，我我刚才我问了一下 Marco 一个问题，我说，呃，那么怎么样我们才能促进这个转换呢？我觉得好像大家是不是都在卡在这里了，啊，然后 Marco 回答说。啊，你可以试图，我可以给你一个，就是说一个建议，我也没有完全的这个菜单儿，就是说，呃，我可以给你个建议，你可以呢对这个，呃，纳米涂层呢进行挤压，嗯，因为这一挤压的话呢，这个磁场会出。出来这个碎片，你可能会，呃，收集到更多的这个就是呃电子的层次的这个磁引力场，啊，你也可以踹呃试不同的这个纳米材料这个纳米涂层。然后下一个问题。好的。磁引力场。啊，你也可以。下一个问题吗？嗯，对，第三个问题。好的。呃、uh, ，the third question。对，还是来自郭鑫的这个问题。那、嗯、么第三个问题呢是是这样的：纳米涂层镀锌铁加纯铜线，以十字形对立摆放在一次性杯子里，加入盐水，经过两天出现比 CH3 更红的干丝，表面还有类似油脂的物质。由于铁和铜都是人体中有的主要物质成分，那么是不是可以推测这种干丝跟血有关系？请问，呃，这种干丝是什么干丝？呃，可以有什么样的作用？ Yeah. Um, can you read the question, Mark? Um, it's like, uh, it, it's um. I don't know. It's a zinc zinc coated iron wire, and、uh, another one is a cup wire. He said he put them in a a plastic cup. I don't know. He said a a cross put in there. I don't know. It, it cannot say it. It's like a. One is one direction, and another is another direction. So he he put um、uh, salt water in, and after two days, there's some gains, got some gains, and it's much brighter. It's much a、uh, rather uh a、uh, rather uh brighter gains. It is uh compared to a CH three. So he's saying. That uh, uh, since iron and the copper are all the、uh, main minerals in、uh, human body, so、uh, does this gains、uh, something related to blood? Or、uh, what kind of gains of this, and what are the usage? Yes, this this gains is、uh, related to blood. Related to blood. <laughs> Creation of blood、um, in our online teachings, Mr. Cash several times showed blood in,、uh, in the containers that we have here. It's a similar color. It's, I don't know if、um. we can show in our containers. Maybe just in the bottom. There is the, this red color. Okay, you can see it. Yeah.、So、we are producing same things here, and、uh, mm -hmm. Laden, another knowledge seeker here, he produced same,、uh, same material,、uh, same guns at his home, and even today in in the morning session, we、uh, we talked about this. So what、um, is what is happening there?、Uh, would you like to translate, Lisa? 
yeah, yeah, sure. Um, uh, Marco 说，呃，这个呢应该是跟这个血液有关的。他说，我们前几次教学里边也都提到过这个问题。啊、呃，在上午的这个教学，我们还说了这个问题，说大家可以看到刚才那个盒子里边那个底下是红颜色的。Okay, what what happened over there?、Uh... Most probably, you you absorb different guns, CO2 guns, and you you created also a layer of of fat on the top, and then、uh, iron was added. And、uh, inside your cell, you created guns of iron, which then connected to this amino acid. So the link was. Created between amino acid and iron, so、uh, you created this condition of of blood cell.、Uh, if you know,、uh, our blood is is a combination of amino acid. What we call amino acid is uh, uh, N O C H. And、uh, this is in plasma state. It's a gun state of amino acid. So when you when you have this this plasma, and you have、uh, iron gans, and、uh, when you create connection between these two, you create new plasma. Um, which is actually this、uh, blood, red blood cell. But it, here in your cells, it's it's different than、uh, in you, in the human body. In this this morning session, we talked about、uh, about properties of of、uh, blood. When blood is inside our human our body, because it's in vacuum environment. It behaves completely different than when it's outside. So, also environment that blood、uh, uh, is in、uh, decides、uh, the, the properties of of this element. So, here again, there, there are a lot of applications of this material, but、uh, this should be done、uh, under control and.、Uh, Uh, inside a scientific institution, with all the measurements,、uh, this this material has a lot of application. But as I said,、uh, it should be it should be monitored very strictly. And、uh, you are working with this. You you have to understand what you are doing. Okay. Um. 啊、uh, ，Marco 解释说，呃，说这个呢，呃，因为你是放的这个铜跟这个啊镀锌的这个铁在这里边，一开始的话呢，它会生产出啊一些个，比如说二氧化碳干丝啊，或者还有一点氨基酸啊，然后呢，你这个铁。如果参加进来的话，就说铁的干丝，呃，这个呢是形成了这种。呃，就是这个氨基酸会有含铁，是呃跟这个血液的这个呃细胞的里边的这个成分就比较接近，所以是红颜色的。但是呢，因为这个是在呃，就是呃，因为这个血液细胞在人体内和在外边啊、呃、是不一样的啊、呃，所以呢会它会表现出呃性质结构都不一样。啊，呃，另外提一点就是，呃，这个东西呢，虽然可能会有很多用途，但是呢，啊、呃，不建议，呃，就是说，呃，就说建议大家呢，应该是在这个，啊、呃，就是说比较，呃。正规的机构，然后在这个呃科学指导下，然后使用这些个材料来应用，啊、呃，就是。不要，就是呃，意思不要随便用。啊，石头还有其他的补充吗？没有了。嗯，没有了。好吧。
Na, Marco? Yes. So, uh, what can you do with these guns? Uh, yeah, you can do. Uh, um, I would not like to propose you anything uh, at this moment. Uh, I think. Uh, Specialized laboratories should do more exam on this, and then uh, you can use it here in your life. So, I think uh, people who are more interesting uh, to look more in depth into this uh, understanding, they can join us on online teachings uh, where Mr. Kesh is going more in depth in this technology, and he explains more about uh, about these uh, materials and. Uh, how can be used. So uh, I'd rather not say anything that, uh, so that you don't use it in the wrong way. Marco 目前的话呢，说不希望呃给呃，就是说给提任何建议，然后呃会使大家有一些个，就是说呃实验随便就是不小心。嗯，so uh, 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 question number four. 好的，那么第四个问题呢是这样的，就我们做的这个。二氧化碳干尸套包中产生的氧化锌，还有这个干尸包中产生的氧化亚铜，这些是不是和二氧化碳干尸一样都是干尸态呢？Okay, the que uh, question number four is, uh, uh we uh, get the a zinc oxide when we uh, produce CO2 gains and also uh, CO2O when we produce CO gains. Uh, my question is whether the zinc oxide or the uh, CO2O are in the same state in the are in the state of gains? Are they gains? Um, how you produce it uh, depends on the process how you produce it. But uh, as according to the question, uh, if you are using in the salt water, you you still have a gain state of uh, these materials. Um. 马克回答说这个是看你这个生产的这个过程是如何的。Yesterday in the teaching, uh, Mr. Cash said, uh, uh, when you have the zinc oxide, you may have uh, like a, a, a normal matter particles of uh, zinc oxide. You you can have a uh, uh, gas zinc oxide, and you have different. It's like a mixture. Um, yes. Uh, as I remember in one of the teaching, Mr. Cash explained that when you create this um, condition of conductivity inside your cells, that if your plates or um, your wires are, are more touching the, the bottom of, of the container, and um, when the gun is 
is uh, settled down in the bottom and you, it creates conductivity, you get also zinc uh, guns. And uh, you, can, you can see that uh, the color of, of these guns is different than, uh, than CO2 guns. Uh, uh, Marco uh, 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 Mr. Cash explained this. Go ahead, Lisa.然后说你可能会有，就说你的铁氢铜可能会有不同的东西产生，而且如果你要是这个啊，你的这个电极板子如果要是在下部接触到CO2干丝的话，嗯，那么有呃有可能呢，就会还会产生新啊，呃，就是
can you can you see? I don't have his window. Can you Do you know how to use it? 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 Is it? Yeah. Okay. Is it? You see that? Okay. I can. Uh, I see a CO2 kit. You I, have I to played. select. I play the video. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay. Let's see. So, the sorry, sorry. video. Ah, uh, you you can read the. Like subtitles in English here. So, uh, you can you can read, ma, maybe. Oh, I can't read because it's two windows. I can't sit together. Ah, okay. Then I can read. Ah, ah, just say that it's a, ah, just say using this hydrogen oxide bottle to get the hydrogen oxide gas. Ah, uh, this is the CO two captured by the CO two kit, and now she is cutting a bag of vinegar. She by this, ah, just say one one a cut, ah, get cut, then put it inside. Ah, then now, is, ah, give, ah, give it to him to cut. He put the vinegar in the cup. It's a beaker. Now you can see it's. Gradually, like seems to disappear. 就是啊，你就就也就逐步它就清透明了。然后呢，他现在又放那个 baking soda。然后现在放碳酸氢钠小苏打，把这个放在水里，然后让它溶解，然后把它倒倒进去。He first he dissolve the baking soda to water. This exhibition is very not clear, very unclear. Now he she is pouring the baking soda solution to the gas. Ah, then now put the soda water into the gas. Just as the gas is pouring into the gas, it's pouring into the gas. It's pouring into the gas. It's pouring into the gas. 干死里面倒，然后现在呢，我们看到有，呃，有东西出来。Now we can see the, ah,、uh, first there are some,、uh, a lot of bubbles come out, and then、uh, gradually you can see the precipitation. And then. Like ah,、uh, he let it rest for half hour, and it shows a a layer of oily material on the top. And now he putting another add more sodium like carbonate solution into it.
啊，现在他把另啊，就是再放了一部分，嗯，这个小苏打溶液，然后现在看到可以就出现跟浆糊的东西了，就比较 ，it's look like jelly。And then it lets settle for another half an hour. And then I think she let her settle for three days. Like seventy hours, and then now she shows the comparison between and after. They put it in pieces, pieces. It looks like like big chunks of them falling down. It's like when I making CO two gas, I didn't move the container for like a more than half month or so, and it's turned to like a jelly. On the plate, this one looks like that. Um, it's like a jelly or glue. When guns compacted itself, it becomes more like jelly. Yeah. Uh, uh, water is squeezed out from the from the space between guns, and then. It becomes more compacted, and you can observe that uh, if you have it in a container, it mm. shrinks. And uh, but you still have a little bit of water between these hands. Uh -huh. uh, uh, more compact. What what is this now? Second. Uh, this one, you you mean the shoe now? The shoe is a one is a, a before and one the one the oh. other is after. So they compare the uh, the mm -hmm. quantity. So it seems like is she says uh, the quantity become less. The and what happened when uh, she added uh, vinegar at the first? I uh, it becomes all transparent. Transparent. Anything uh, she cannot observe anything in the bottom of the container because there um, are some reports that uh, when you add vinegar or special kind of of uh, acid to this. Uh, to guns, um, uh, guns changes to um, to to uh, nano layer again. I think uh, Emmanuel has done this experiment, and he observed on the bottom of the container these um, small black particles. Um, that's why uh, my question is. Does she observe this also when she is using vinegar? Because vinegar is an acid. Um, so you mean they become more compact? It seems like nothing there. It's like all clear. When you add something in, you change the environment. and. Uh, 
mm -hmm. cans respond to this environment. So uh, when you change it, it can open up or you, it can shrink. When you show this, it's completely transparent. Or did I? Uh... I'm not sure. When I do uh, like experiment, like lows, I I I do see small particles in the liquid. I can tell the difference. They are not the water. Okay. They that... are not one uh, totally dissolved, but I I can see them, but they don't. If this can okay. be covered, you can see small particles in the liquid. That's that's important thing because uh, from last thir Thursday workshop, you were looking uh, what kind of uh, substance or what kind of magnetic uh, separation we can use to to achieve separation of the guns inside our uh, dynamic reactors. So if we are able to change GANS to nanostructure again and use it, these uh, nanomaterials as separation or uh, to have it like magnetic properties for separation of, uh, of GANS inside dynamic reactors, this, this experiment could be very useful. Okay, um, Marco said, you uh Now 这这些就是他们从这个干湿状态因为环境改变了又重新恢复到了原来这种纳米图层的这种颗粒的状态然后反正因为这里也看不到这个到底有没有描述到这个方面 I can see something black in uh, one of the containers so uh, it would be very interesting to see more more details about this experiment. Uh, can we get more and more details? What what exactly she observed when we? Yeah, that that uh, uh, lower right corner of the picture. You you can see black uh, particles, and this shows like indication that you change. Part of the guns to the to the nano nanostructure again. So this can be used then uh, for certain applications also. Okay, um, Marco, 解说说你这里边可能会有一些个这个固体的物物质会产生。啊，他说呢，你看这个啊，进右下边的这个下边会有这黑的这个这个。呃，就是黑色的粒子，就说这个一般是纳米材料，这个会有很多呃用途。So what what she is doing when she added she added uh, vinegar, it changed to uh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. When she added vinegar, she changed the environment of the guns. And let's say uh, if uh, vinegar introduced more gravitational field environment, uh, changed environment of the guns, and this gun shrinks. And the opposite, if you if you add the baking soda, you have other other part you you increase again uh, magnetical and you get 
balanced environment again. So you, you get first, first solution with, with some residual on the top. So that's how I see this experiment. 啊，然后马克姐说说你第一次加入酸以后啊，那么你就说改变了他的次引力场环境，所以呢会使他就说啊有改变，但是我没听清啊，就说是状态还改,改变还是，呃、啊、就是形态改变。然后呢，等你再加入碱以后呢，他又回到了啊，就是原来的这个状态，呃，可能就说又回来了，所以就说又展示出来。啊，石头，你能翻译一下吗？那嗯，或者补充，我、就是、只能是我的理解，因为他说了这个酸和碱的环境可以造成这个整个环境的变化嘛，然后意思就是说，在弱酸的环境下，它原来这个水给这个纳米材料提供了一个显化的一个环境，但是因为酸性以后呢，它就呃隐藏了起来，或者说它通过这种转化变成了原来这种纳米涂层的一个状态，那么大家都看不到。然后加入碱以后，使得这个环境恢复到原来的综合的状态，然后这个水的环境又可以提供一个显化干湿的一个作用，然后呢，就使得这个干湿又又出现恢复。但是其中发生转变了之后的干湿，就是变成纳米材料的干湿呢，它就会变成像刚才说的，就是下面有一些沉淀物或者说是啊啊、呃、比较颜色比较暗的颗粒。Lisa。OK， 嗯、um...。Uh, about the second question, it says, um, okay, you want to explain more, Marco? No, maybe just uh, if we can get more details about what kind of uh, vinegar she's using, uh, what percentage of vinegar, so that uh, we have, we have, we can get better insights and. Uh, so we can do more uh, more research in this uh, in this case how to how to achieve this conversion of the gans material to the nanomaterial because not all vinegars are the same uh, not all uh, vinegars are the same percentage so that's why it would be interesting to have more i think um, also that uh, it's a case of the GANS has been converted into a gas because the gas that's given off would be carbon dioxide. When you mix um, okay. vinegar and baking soda, that's the result is that's that's how they make fire extinguishers that work on carbon dioxide principle. May I ask so, a question about this? Yeah, that, that's the w why the uh, all the gas bubbles come out when he add the uh, baking soda. Yeah, that's what happens when you add the baking soda yeah. to vinegar. It's, it converts uh, into yeah, carbon you... dioxide. That's what's given off. So it could be that some of the CO2 GANs, which was converted into the liquid state, is now converted into the uh, gas state. Uh, it's also the second question is, um, uh, there was a question from someone, who was it? Was it Emmanuel? Is that you, Emmanuel? Hello? Yeah, did, did you have a Can question? Can you hear me? Yes. This? Yeah. Yes, uh, please. Um, is the CO3 bicarbonate structure, is it possible when it's dissolved, as you said, and turned into carbon dioxide for the plasmatic fields of the um, GANs itself to reconstitute it into another type, into GANs after some stirring in time because of the uh, difference in the strength between the vinegar and the, and the baking soda in the solution? Okay. Uh, Is that what's found? Okay, go ahead. So what we seem to seem to get is less material at the end of its sitting. So I would suggest some of the GANs has been 
gone <laughs> into the air or dissolved somehow. Um, and we're assuming that the material that's that we end up with is actually GANs and not sodium bicarbonate. Uh, that's because there's a lot of sodium bicarbonate that's been put into solution. Maybe that's come out of solution as well. Maybe the GANs is all gone for all we know. Yeah. Yeah, but don't is forget. It, all is it possible that uh, on the on the um, manifestation of the GANs entities. So if you have uh, like more compact environment in a mangrove sense point of view, uh, the the GANs adapt to this environment and shrinks itself uh, automatically. So um, this is also part of explanation. Mm, good point. Okay. I have a question ah. here because the because the sodium bicarbonate is a well the CO three is bigger than CO two. Isn't it possible that the CO two is condensed into the new CO three type structure and has found a new type of link? Um, could be, but. Uh Um, adding the vinegar into the GANs makes it disappear. Now, I've done this myself over here, but I've had uh, a mixture of GANs. You know, what I found was that the, the copper oxide got dissolved into the, the liquid, and, uh, and the vinegar, the, you could smell it at the beginning, but then there was no smell after a little while. Um, but it was interesting to see that uh, being able to by adding the sodium bicarbonate that you can you can precipitate at least something back into the the water, which is great to see. So in other words, to me that shows a going from a plasma GAN state to a another state that we we don't see with the GANs and the vinegar, and then going back to a matter state of some kind by seeing it in the sodium bicarbonate. And it's interesting as well that it's a jelly-like substance gets formed. It would make sense to me that if you had a jelly-like substance with your GANs, it would ha have more of a uh, uh, buffering or more distance between the particles. Um, more more slipperiness in a way but at the same time held in place in a way so it could be Does an anybody, interesting experiment. Does anybody remember something in the past Keshi talked about using calcium as a way to link um, nano and GAN structures because I think that the topic was um, well, how to together how to funny, link it. funny you brought that up because I was just about to mention calcium because it came up in the science news uh, a couple of days ago where they scientists uh, it's actually happened uh, about a year ago but it's uh, just news now uh, they created a uh, the fastest rotating object of all time I think it was something like five or six hundred million rpm and it was a calcium carbonate molecule that they used to rotate and they rotated that at the fastest speed that's ever been recorded. Like you say, it's over 500 million RPM. But it was a calcium carbonate, and it was a round uh, shape. Apparently, it has to be, and it has to hold. It's, it has to hold together at those speeds, and that's what they found to work. Apparently, so. Um, I'm not sure Could how... it be deduced? Pardon me? Could we, make a de could we make a deduction to say that calcium might be a way to create more slippage and more speed of rotation and possibly... Well, 
that's what I was thinking because vinegar <laughs> used more friction than it is. Is a is a like a roller bearing basically. It's it's able to rotate easily at high speeds, and that could be uh, like a, a a buffer or a, a way of even transferring the the plasmatic energies, perhaps. Let's give uh, a chance. Lisa to translate a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, 刚才呢，我们讨就说是主要是说呃讨论一下这个就是生成这个东西。然后 Marco 解释的意思是说，啊、呃，我们有酸了以后就是改变这个环境，然后再加碱的话又改变，然后呃最后这个。啊、uh, ，Vins 提出了一个那个比较好的解释，他他就说，就说一个他看的这个整个的这个图画是是说，啊、呃，一开始呢有干丝，然后你家酸了呢，就使他看不见了。然后他以前也做过这实验，但是今天呢比较新鲜，就是说你在家小苏打呢就又生成了。啊，就是说，又是一种啊，另外一个材料，他们都解释说，另外这个新的材料呢比较紧密一些，啊，就是说跟原来就是说似乎二氧化碳干丝这个不一样，也可能是物质，也可能还有新的干丝，就是等于这个啊，次引力场互相作用呢，也许生生成新的东西了，啊，这是一个解释。后来呢，啊，瑞克说到，他说，呃、啊，这个东西呢就是。还有呃哦呃 ，Emmanuel 说呃，就说提到呃钙的问题，说钙可以在里边会有一种啊、呃、连接呀、啊、或者特殊的形式。然后瑞克就说，他最近看那一篇报道说，啊呃,呃发发现了一个就是啊、呃、碳碳酸钙的物品。物体，这个不就是这个东西呢？可以是说到目前为止，世界上转的最快的大概是十六百万。就是一千六百万转每分钟这个样子，呃，然后他们又解释说，啊、呃，是不是这个钙呢会有这种，呃，能够可以很高速，而且会有这个光滑嘛，就比较光滑，能够转，因为，哎，因为什么？因为为什么？我想他们为什么谈到这个光滑性呢？因为是，呃，前两天的这两天的教学当中，他们提到过，啊、呃，就是把干丝要分离呀、啊，要使他们，呃，能够。能够分层，还有一个就是说隔离，或者是呃要比较呃就是说光滑嘛，能够就是说光滑就比较比较滑的话，那么就互相之间层之间就会有不同的这个层之间的运动，或者形成自由等离子体，主要是考虑到这个问题，所以他们今天说了这个速度和光滑的问题。嗯、um, ，OK， I finished the translating. Okay, I just uh, just let me add that in this article, or it's actually a YouTube uh, video. I, sh I should post the um, link here, um, but it mentions that the rotation rate is so fast that the angular acceleration at the sphere surface, that's of this calcium carbonate, is one billion times that of gravity on the Earth's surface. So they got a billion times the gravity force. Uh, on that rotating sphere, and they say it's amazing that the centrifugal forces do not cause the sphere to disintegrate. And what actually happened during the experiment is that it actually disappeared during parts of the experiment while it was rotating. They it just totally disappeared. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, interesting, I think. Maybe this is one of the clues of um, maybe if we get the GANs to rotate rather than spinning it in a circle, but get the individual GANs to rotate, that could be an interesting um, uh, phenomenon. We'd be causing the gravitational. Um, forces with with the GANs that way by rotating each individual GANs rather than all of them as as a bulk ring. We need to free them up to be able to do that. 
啊，呃，瑞克又姐说说，我正想还想就是提一下，就是他们做这实验的话呢，啊、呃，因为这个就是等于这个呃转的特别快嘛，啊、呃，快的话这个就是说这个，呃，就是说等于这个，我不知道是球啊还是什么，就是说会展示出来它的重量也是平时的，就是这个引力的好像也是一千倍，呃。就说大于一千万倍的样子，啊，然后就说从这个我们，而且就说在实验当中会有这个，啊，历史就是不见了的这个啊现象出现，啊，然后所以他就解释，就是想说我们能不能是不是也可以转动这个干丝，就是单个的干丝，而不是说啊，我只这一堆干丝在这块大家转，是不是可以转一个干丝，就说啊达到什么效果？啊，有补充吗，石头 ？Okay,、uh, we are over time a little bit. So, is there anything else or? 嗯、uh, ，我们还 Good point. Yeah,、And、next is a、uh, health. Actually, um. Yeah, we we can just continue. <laughs> See four three. Yes, we are. Okay, so yes, we can、uh, end this particular part of the workshop and carry on to the health workshop next, which we should do in a separate、uh, webin webinar. Oh,、uh, so, okay. Are we ready for that? Is that okay? Ah,、uh, uh, Marco. Yeah, yeah. Marco, okay. My side.、Uh, okay. Maybe other things. Do you have much more、uh, questions, or you know, we can、uh, we can do it next time, or also during the health workshop. There's more questions,、um, but and、um, and we can get that video lined up、um, as well next time. So. Okay. So we end the here and、uh, go to the health. I don't know. Maybe, maybe with this with these experiments about how to convert、uh, guns to nanomaterial, we can we can、uh, do these、uh, presentations also during the Thursday workshop. So.、Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, let's carry、um, it on there. How are we、yeah. other、uh, other issues?、Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. 啊，就就是呃，刚才瑞克跟 Marco 我们讨论说说我们中文教学基本上时间到了，所以我们现在就是结束，然后进行呃下面的呃健康教学。然后啊 ，Marco 又说我们是不是这个实验的话，到时候可以再呃就是说详细的做一做，然后呃看看就是说更深入的做，然后也可以在这个呃星期四教学里面展示就关于这个酸和碱的这个作用的视频。OK。Rick. Okay, so ends the eleventh Chinese、uh, Knowledge Seekers Workshop. Thank you, everybody, for attending. Um, uh, Rick 说这就是我们第十一次呃中文网络教学，我们现在结束了，感谢大家的参与。